our earlier residential projects of how it built up our architecture libraries and how it intervened into our private life. As we began our precedent study in coaching, there was a few notable architecture elements that caught our attention. First of all is the traditional shop houses courtyard that allowed fresh air, natural light into internal space and allowed plants to grow within the house. Shaded veranda, roof overhang to reduce heat gain at glass window and much underutilized backyard. Thus for 7th Avenue, we decided to centralize the services on one side and allow greens and courtyard to be inserted on the other side. And we would like also to have an open plan concept for a continuous visual connection from the front to the rear. We arrange typical terrace house by moving living room near to the green space allocated area and a back-to-back -back living and dining relationship. On the first floor, courtyard is sandwiched in between master bedroom and the children room in front, allowing open opening towards the courtyard and eventually brighten up and ventilate the rooms and corridor. And we were also able to work with local fabricators like Eco Steel for the steel roof truss and mouse steel fascia and Kim Him Malaysia the custom made the 7th Avenue wash hand basin. All 30 units were sold off after the showroom opening and the project concluded in 2006. It's a great learning curve from design, supervise the construction to completion and the only setback is that we couldn't own any unit then. Besides completing 7th Avenue, 2006 mark and the union of MASE by marriage. <laughs> so we are 10 years now. Yeah. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> so in deal with our upcoming wedding at the end of 2006 and with the experience we gained via 7th Avenue, we decided to transform an 800 square feet flat to an open studio to house two Teochew with a budget of 10000 Taken back with our studio apartment that we rented in Melbourne and seen local industrial limitation, we decided to transform a typical second floor flat with the following ideas. Number one, open concept studio meaning knocking down all the internal walls, play with a few available materials such as perforated screen and screw door, insertion of vertical stainless steel track for playful display, cement screen rendered wall and floor with timber insertion, get rid of all down lights and replacing it with track lights. Those are actually IKEA track lights, not so fancy <laughs> track lights. Huh? And um, open wardrobe and storage area. And our, our parents came to visit and gave us the blessing after the project completed. Beforehand, they were not allowed to intervene. <laughs> <laughs> we were happily staying there for three years. Uh, before another adventure calling for architecture opportunities. In 2009, we needed more dwelling space as we were coming our first born in 2010. The terrace house at 7th Avenue was put up for sale by the bank after the previous owner defaulted the payment. We were delighted to able to purchase one of our own creation after four years is completed. The abandoned house was ransacked and we required a total interior makeover which lead to give a new layer life cycle. While all the fundamental principle in the design of the terrace house is still intact and functional, we decided to continue to let the construction material to stay true to its finishing but in a bigger, bigger footprint. With an increased construction budget from 10,000 to 100k, we are able to continue to explore additional construction materials such as brickless garden wall, concrete pavel as security wall, rusted steel gate and cement board main door. Moving forward from 2010, the house potential was again challenged and extended when we needed to accommodate MASA home office in July 2013, right after my second confinement. There is uh, Josiah. Josiah in the baby court. And Eunice. <laughs> um, at this point of time, the design principle for the first floor remained, but it's interesting to note the versatility of the ground floor. 
The rear terrace was converted into MASA walk station. The front rumpus is now the meeting room. The courtyard ten times double up in its usage as secondary meeting and dining table is occupied by interns. Having seen the need for additional meeting place, a concrete pavilion was constructed at our backyard in 2015. However, um, it's mostly used for entertainment such as office lunch and birthday celebration. And uh, after office hour number 28, 7 avenues, is our little house in Perry, reverted back to its original function where family and friends gather over a meal or limp there, a playhouse for our children while we're sorting out the loose end of the week. Okay. Okay. HGST is a successful enterprise focusing mainly on the development of computer hard drives. The company has a well-known reputation in terms of quality, reliability and innovations of their products. Other than their productions, the company cares for the well-being of their employees. Hence, the on-site gym was introduced at the heart of the company compound and encouraged and to provide a healthy lifestyle for their employees. The initial proposal of the site location was not desirable as it was not engaging to the surrounding environment, less user-friendly and in terms of the access and also no visibility to the main building. We, were, we, we had the opportunity to relocate the facility to the garden area, enabling the building to blend to the surrounding environment. And also it tallies with the corporate image of the, to blend in. The footprint is then divided into two zones, the public and the private zones. The concept of using the widespread of feature of uh, butterfly wings resulted in uh, creating multiple connections with both building circulations and engagement of the surrounding tree lines. Full height glass were used throughout the public zones to enhance the visual links, where else the solid walls and van blocks were used at the public zones to provide uh, privates and also enhance the natural lights and also ventilation. With its form and shapes, it increased the floor plates of the building and enables to improve and increase the facility. The smooth accessibility of the building from the existing foot, uh, footpath next to the main lobby. The full height glass facade allows the visual connections and also it makes it easier to relax to, to the surrounding itself. Imitating of the character, characteristics of the butterfly, the building sits very delicately in the garden as the building rays from the ground. It becomes an icon within the landscape itself. Four meter high of the internal space is a specific requirement by the, uh, the gym. However, the changing room facilities are lower to give a user a sense of enclosure and privacy. The column-free spatial configuration and a high ceiling volume uh, gives a, give a very nice and welcoming environment. To be seen in a gym while you're doing the workout session helps to encourage and motivate the entire staff to get into it. In the gym, lots of team building exercises are conducted and it has become a channel to let the core workers to get to know each other better from different departments. The private wall, the solid wall comes with the grass creeks and van blocks uh, well used and it provides privacy and sufficient natural ventilation lights into the male and female changing rooms and shower areas. Behind the full height concrete grass creek wall, there are several layers of materials to make it functional. Overall, we feel the project is very successful. Uh, the client's needs and also, the, because we are very uh, tight with the budgets and also time, we managed to explore the further and provide a better solution, I think. Yeah. Wound Residence started as an alteration and addition project. Even though it's considered a very small exercise in terms of the build-up, but to us, it's an extremely meaningful project. The house was caught in fire in year 2012. The entire first floor and partial of the ground floor were burned down, and the existing structures considered unfit to live in anymore. To rebuild the house, again from the, the, the incident, it, it is not an, it's, it's, it's not a pleasant exercise to go through. 
The site is at Jalan Tengah, off from Green Road. The house is surrounded by single and double storey timber and brick houses built in 1970s and 80s. Based on the excavations, the, pow, the buckle pow head had been rotten and detached away from the pow cap. The existing slab detached away from the existing beam and settled. In view of the safety, instructions were given by, to the contractor to demolish all the existing structure and new structure were in place to support the new foundation. Proposed site is a square shed with a long driveway. New setbacks were given by land and survey departments. And then now the footprint is only left 10 meter by 10 meter. Extruded 4 meter on each floor and, and an open car porch. Introduced a 1.8 meter terraces and balconies on ground and first floor. And an RC framing to house the terraces and also the balcony. Infilling the gap between the structure framing with a modular drain cell and also local produce event blocks to screen and give shades and also privacy. The in-between space between the sun screen and also the building creates a cooling buffer effect to the house. Trees are inserted to provide additional features and shades. Okay. Okay. A gentle ramp leads into the house um, and then it connects the, uh, the perimeter terraces. Once you enter the house, you are greeted by the open plan with the living room, dining room and kitchen all together at one space. Storeroom, guest room and parents' rooms are tucked besides. And the two bedrooms on top uh, with a shared common toilet and also shower facilities. The rest is actually open, uh, looking over the voids. The family room and the TV room okay, give a source of visual context from the parents at the ground floor and the, the daughters are on top. A single pitch roof covers the entire main roof, main house, leaving 600 gaps all around the balconies. The solid massing of the house looks like a monotonous block by daytime, and at night it turns to become a lantern effect to give it to the surroundings. A freestanding off form structural wall separates the dot led steel staircase beside the double volume space giving a sense of connection as you walk up the stairs. Large windows opening at the first floor fills the entire living room with diffused light. Okay, steel grating floors with openings allow trees to penetrate through and continue to reach above. It also allows more lights and circulation air and without being covered up by solid floorings. The external screen's facade has added additional rich texture to the house and give a unique tectonic surface to the neighborhood. Okay, last, last project, it's, it's called Con Concrete House at Jalan Song. Concrete House is a very con it's contemporary residence located in a mature neighborhood in the suburban Kuching city. The house has a very unique brief. It wants to give a very different and unconventional approach. It is meant to be a surprise and has a complete contrast with the surrounding. The client requested the structure to serve as an extended pavilion, connect the several family homes via a garden walkway. It was conceived as an idea that everyone can gather for meals and celebration. The shape of the positioning of the house was dictated by the setback and the triangle land shape built for living and entertaining for friends, family, children and grandchildren. Space for work up a dip in a swimming pool, hosting weekend parties for clientele and close friends. In addition to host family gathering and stay over guests, the house also accommodates leisure activities such as children rampers, barbecue areas, steam room, swimming pool, as well as entertainment room. The composition consists of two blocks separated by a center core swimming pool and an outdoor corridor. The deliberate interweaving of the public and private zones across semi-outdoor spaces serve to amplify the occupant's sense of locality and awareness of the external environment without compromising comfort in a tropical climax. The lab pool formed the base of the courtyard 
at which the house en envelops. The whole house is mainly built out of concrete from floor, wall and ceiling. It has one monolithic form and finishing. The rest are infilled with timber, glass and steel. Commanding views of the main feature at both wings of the house from the dining area. The open plan living compartments with extended gardens view towards the south and the perimeter of will, full height glazing. Aluminium fixed louver screens and enveloping the first floor bedroom and filter lights and give shades. Structural RC wall res responds to the east and west sun orientation to provide shades to the internal spaces. The pure form of the house breaks away from the conventional neighborhood. The RC concrete roof protects the arrival porch. Mando is intentionally shy away from the public eye, giving it a better privacy. Walls are being carefully orientated to maintain internal privacy along visual exposed elevation, while generous openings are crafted towards desired views and with greens. Harmonious relationship exists between the house and the garden. Perimeter full height glazing enable the visual extension beyond the living room towards the south garden. The gym room with the adjacent spiral steel staircase ascends to the first floor entertainment room. Okay. 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 There's one more sentence. <laughs> A little, a little um, leap as small as a master seat. Uh, we anticipate our team, this is our current team, to continue to grow and mature in years to come. I think we, we try to summarize what we are trying to do, is to explore the design possibilities and transform them into a meaningful architecture solutions for our client and also communities. Yeah, that's what we are all trying to do yeah, in our office. Yeah. <laughs> if you wish to know, to see more, go and like our page on Facebook. <laughs> Give a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh,